off Norman Beach's PA, sunny Sydney. Uh, funny one again today, uh, QSC time. I had a customer come in the other day, wanted to hire a QSC. When I visited, uh, that had gone wrong and he'd taken it back to the, uh, the supplier to get fixed. And I said, oh, did you do the firmware update? It's a point two series. He went, oh, what's the firmware update? It's got three or four of them uh, uses, and uh, so one of them cooked. I think it was the 240 power supply firmware update thing from a couple of years ago that we did a video on. Um, so it prompted me to say, okay, bring bring your other ones in, and I'll, I'll update the firmware. So then I went to the QSC website to uh, just refresh myself and download the update, which you can see here. And then I found there's a new firmware update uh, aimed specifically the uh, 10.2, but also um, applicable to the 8s and the 12s. And it's saying basically uh, to surmise that uh, if you run a 10.2 uh, 10 high volume for an extended period, um, you can damage the driver and potentially cook the amp, etc. When there won't be any warning of this, there's no uh, apparently the um, you know the overriding uh, protection circuits aren't working on that. Not sure. So I, I was quite surprised because I've got probably six K 10.2s and four uh, 12.2s. And I know loads of people with 10.2s uh, and 12.2s, and, and they had no idea about it, nor did I originally. When the first update came out a few years ago, Jans, which is a Sydney local uh, neon seller for the, um, you know, the, the K series, um, sent an email to people like myself who obviously you know, buy and sell uh, and, and hire equipment to, uh, to alert us. So we told everybody and we offered free service to update. Um, this one I didn't know about. Um, and, you know, as a hire business, I hire equipment out and you want it to be have the latest firmware which is you know again it's a downside of a lot of these very you know uh, modern speakers with firmware updates etc you've got to stay on top of it whereas back in the day you know with the, with the old stuff you didn't need to so um i started to go okay let's have a look at this i mean it's fairly serious business you know damaging your driver and potentially cooking your amp the other the other problem a few years ago was you know um, the power supply was going to cook your speaker Nothing that you want when you're spending that sort of money on QSC products. Um, you know, great speakers, but yeah, you, this is a new thing to be aware of. So basically today, again, there's a quick update. So I've got the 10.2s here. So with, uh, without turning the speaker on, just prise off the, um, the settings adjuster. I've got the updater here on the computer, and I've done a few already, and I've found the software... So the updater software is a bit clunky. I've had a few that's, you know, it's... it's, it's got non-responding blue screens of death so just be careful with this one the other one the other update a few years ago worked seamlessly this one I, I, I scared me a bit a couple of times it's just locked up and nothing's happened it could be my machine i put it on another machine that uh, and that it just didn't want to load at all so be careful with this one that's all i'm saying uh, so again so you, you download the, the the firmware updater install it onto your pc it won't work on anything else um, then your micro USB, prize your uh, you know your settings uh, changer on there off, which is a little plastic knob. Then you've got your micro USB port. Make sure your machine is off. Plug that in. Make sure your updater is on. It's connected. Then turn your power on your machine. You can check that your of what uh, firmware you have by scrolling down, which I can do here, even though I've got the button off. Um, and I can see it's uh, 1.10, so I know that needs updating. Okay, and it's come up over here, and it says it, it needs a firmware update. You can see there's just a line there, hard to see, um, because I'm an idiot. So I just click update, and we'll see what happens. Uh, again, up clicking update, update cancel. Not sure what that means, but it says it's loading firmware here. This is where I can get a bit confused so update cancelled even though I wanted to do it uh, so my, now the computer is saying must restart so this is a problem I've never had this in the old firmware update the machine kind of is okay so this is just kind of scaring me so I'm just going to turn this machine off this has happened probably out of three out of the four machines I've had uh, sorry uh, uh, speakers I've had so I don't know why it wants to do this I don't know why it wants to keep up me resetting the machine Let's try it again. I'll turn this machine on. I don't want to brick the module. I want to be very careful here. Um, so now it's just firmware update again. So I'll go and click on it. Um, let's see what happens. It's very clunky piece of software here. I'm not very happy with 
that it's how it's functioning and now I've, now it's updating so I've done nothing it's on nine percent already um, so yeah this is I'm not sure whether it's my machine or it's the, the updater uh, it's going to ten percent and as, as we know from past experience you can't touch or, or pull apart or turn anything off at this point because you can brick the module so I'm very cautious but I've had I've had really odd results with this this morning. Um, this machine normally work, runs software very well. I've never had a problem with any software on this on this machine, on this laptop, and it's stuck on 10%. Um, it's connected, and it said update failed again. Okay, this is really not what we want to have. So I'm gonna turn that off again, um, and then I'll probably hit okay, because I don't know what else to do here. Let's turn the updater off. I don't know why it wants to reboot my laptop every single time I turn this piece of software on. Um, let's try and shut it down, which we're trying to do now. It's really not very happy about this for some reason. Uh, so now it's gone again. So let's try to turn the updater back on and see if we have a better result. Yep, so I've just got the updater sitting on the desktop. Let's turn the machine on. Let's see if we can get it running. Sync device, okay, let's sync the device because that's what we want to do and it wants the update. Um, again, it's come straight in at 9%. So just be aware of this, uh, maybe take it to a, a dealer uh, or someone that knows what we're doing. Now it's updating um, much more seamlessly. You can see the green bar going up, loading firmware. But the first, uh, on a couple of machines, and as I just showed you then, um, didn't want to didn't have a bar of it, just wanted to restart the laptop which is quite odd, uh, and it's done that a few times. So I did restart the laptop initially a couple of times, and, and nothing seemed to change. Um, and now, as you can see, it's, it's, it's going. It's, it's, it's Here it's going up. It's on 44%. Now, nothing's changed, as you can see. But what you don't want to do is damage your module, because in the, the first firmware update, you can brick the module. Hopefully, that's not the case here. But if you're uncertain about this, take it to a, your dealer or where you bought it from, because this... Updater software here. I, I'm not sure whether it's working correctly. It, it seems a little bit uh, Unpredictable to me and if you you don't want to suddenly blow it up and then go on oh, they say you know You're out of warranty or whatever. It seems to be going through at this time. I've done nothing different so just be aware that the software for your firmware updater is um, For my in my opinion uh, a little bit uh, Unstable we could say so we've gone from uh, firmware update 11 that I had on here, which is uh, on my K10, and we're going to hopefully have 12. Now I'm doing this on all my machines because um, it did recommend it to do on your 12s and your 8s and whatever else you've got. But um, fairly tricky stuff to do when the software is not working that well. So now it's, it should say, now it says update successful. So that's great. Um, let's scroll down again. Oh, we're already there. So it's saying... K10 12.0 3200 firmware. That's it. If you've got any questions about how to do this or you feel uncertain about doing it, give us a ring at Northern Beaches BA Hire in Sydney and we'll talk you through it or we can do it for you for free. Or maybe contact Jans if you're in Sydney or your you know your your, your retailer or wherever you bought your, your kit from. But uh, it's a fairly important update to do as with every firmware update with QSC or your Pioneer gear or whatever. Um, but just do it correctly and take your time and don't unplug anything. All the best, Joel and all the meets to be out. Over and out.